Hey guys, welcome back to another Let's Play Back to the Future the Game. So, just to catch you up a little bit, so we found Jennifer, we tried to play Battle of the Battle of the Guitars with Leech, Jennifer's new boyfriend, who cheated and a little mad about that. Uh, but then we found uh, a different kind of Aini, uh, one who is distrusting and, and doesn't like people. Um, we got him out, we took off the muzzle, and of course we ran into Edna. She screamed like she was being murdered, and so the dog was taken away, remuzzled, and I got another Dremere. But it's not enough to get me in trouble enough to see Citizen Brown. So let's get to see if I can find some more trouble. So I'm going to go back and find Leech, because I'm a little torqued off that he cheated on me. Not cheated on me, cheated me. So I'm going to play... Go play some Battle of the Bands again. Alright. This is a really long walk. Alright, Jennifer. Give me what you got. Okay. I'm going to talk to her and... Snap. Yeah? I want a rematch. Ooh, you got nerves, McFly. You really want to be humiliated yeah, like nerve. that again? It's nothing but a poser. I got the technique. Do you now? Want a sample? Maybe. If you can beat Leech. <laughs> I already swatted you once, McFly. What is it that's the gutter? I was, but then your mom threw me out. What'd you say, my mother? Try not to leave any scars, baby. Okay, so now we get to hop and jump and skip. What, what we, uh, I forgot what we're doing now. This is a good. No, 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 no. So hopefully he'll do something that's standing still so I can get him up on. I gotta trip him up somehow. Make him fall over. There we go. Thank you very much. Dun, 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 dun. You rock, Jennifer. You just shake your little whatever you're doing. I'm gonna do the platform thing here. platform oh I hope the wood breaks ha. Hmm? <laughs> and that's how it's played What can I say? Some guys got it and <laughs> some guys don't. Mm -hmm. Didn't even have to cheat. You broke my head, Stock. I think I've got a new idol. Come here. You. I got a better idea. You, what better idea? Gross, this is PG. Thank you very much. What was it you called me? A square? <laughs> a girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? 
Oh no, oh no, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Hooliganism! Delinquency! Officer Parker! <laughs> I just caught these two degenerates This should get us enough trouble, right? PDA? Hundred and seventy-six D. She just ran. Tongues. You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop. We don't use words like that in this town. <laughs> I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk about the Citizen Plus program. What? Oh, come on. Officer, give Mr. McFly a four seventy-six D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward yes, daughter. Yes, ma'am. And this is for getting my daughter in trouble <laughs> with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble, or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall. Not enough, huh? McFly! Oh. Are we going to... Hey, Jennifer. Are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great, because I gotta go. Jeez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin, it's Marty. Well, Marty, what's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy got to do to get in trouble around here? I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Yes. We have a warrant for your detention. Detention? You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is it, young Mr. McFly? Is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character Cool. I'm not weak. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. But don't worry, we're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps. The program is in need of new volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Antisocial? How am I being antisocial when I've got nothing but being social? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma it's about time. I always knew your goody two shoes A plus student act was too good to be true. How is that antisocial? That's so funny. Alright, let's see what's going on. All right, so pretty cool. I finally got arrested. I didn't think I was going to. But uh, yeah, it took a lot of work. All right. Come in, citizen. Same TV. Martin McFly, Dad. age 18. Resident of Sector L, Father George, Mother Lorraine, President of the Junior Brown Brigade. All right. Recipient of a full ride scholarship to Strickland College. Winner of the Courthouse Challenge Deportment Award. Zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is. Uh, what happened to you? You look crazy. Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? <laughs> Doc. Interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Forget questions. You're the one who needs to turn around. Explain. This whole crazy world you've created, it's totally mental. There's all these stupid rules and everybody's acting all weird. My dad's turned into this creepy snoop. <laughs> Mom's completely pathetic. And Jennifer's kind of scary. And Biff, 
It's like he's a zombie or something. And it's all basically your fault. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yes. You went to all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes. A cry for help, as it were. Yes. No. Wait. Tell me, Mark. Is your mother on the sauce again? Not where I come from. When I left here, both my parents were happy and well-adjusted. Okay, they didn't start out that way, but that's where your time machine comes in. Time machine? Yeah, Doc, listen to me. You don't remember <clears throat> it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Why? <laughs> Well, just for the hell of it, I, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. It was important for some reason. Fascinating. Yes, yes, it is fascinating. It's, it's amazing, it's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. And this is because? Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. No! I, I mean, yes. What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time and somehow your timeline got messed up everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think. Think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other. When you were 18. I'm Michael Corleone. Incredible. This case is more serious than I'd imagined. The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. Believe me, I wish I had fabricated it. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditioning. God, you don't understand. No, I don't understand yet, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Um... Take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your ma... Your memory. Okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog. Harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me. But you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do. I, I do recall something of the sort, but naturally it couldn't have been the same dog. What was there anything natural about it? Einstein's a time traveler too, thanks to your invention. Uh... An impressively detailed illusion. Keep that. <laughs> wow, that is cool. The sound, it... Yeah, it's kind of lulling. Uh, right, wait, what was I doing? <laughs> I can't tell if it's a guy celebrating a touchdown or chained up in a gulag. Glass half full, Marty. Half full. Hey, this is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. What? Edna just had it cleaned. Yeah, but in 1931 it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? I... uh... Bizarre fantasy life. Go on. Proceed. <sighs> Seriously? So that's what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter. After my wife, of course. That's a switch. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? Stop trying to confuse me! 
My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. You can look it up. But you know better, right? Emmett? I... I... wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kitani. The scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland. My scientific views are the love of my life. Take a look. What you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What do you see? Okay, why are we stuck? Come on, Doc. Don't you remember, Einie? Move on, Mr. McFly. You still got the movie ticket. Indeed I do. A memento of my first date with Edna. I took her to see The Virtuous Husband. And you never saw Frankenstein. You were supposed to go see Frankenstein that night. It was gonna give you the inspiration you needed to pull off your big demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo. Inspired by Frankenstein? How whimsical. Not to mention historically inaccurate. My darling wife is all the scientific views I've ever needed. From my successful demonstration at the 31 Expo all the way up to my cutting-edge Citizen Plus program. Successful? It was supposed to be a failure. Something about that clock looks familiar. The old watchdog. It's all the same stuff I saw on my dad's monitors. I think. The whole town is under surveillance. Okay, I'm running out of options here. Wow, that is cool. The sound, it... Yeah, it's kind of lulling. It's gonna go right. lower. Wait, what was I doing? <laughs> Look, Doc, I mean, Citizen... No, no, focus outward, not on me. Use the objects in the room as points of reflection. I wish to observe your thought processes. If you just let me talk, I'm sure I can convince you. Fine, fine. But show, don't tell. Remember him? Arthur McFly. Your grandfather, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you and I served a subpoena to him back in 31. Preposterous. Wow, I never noticed this before, but Edna definitely had the hots for you, didn't she? Hots, yes. Edna was the first member of the fair sex to see something special in me. She saw <laughs> something, all right, and she ran with it. Yeah, she did. Hmm, looks to me like a kid who's all psyched about his new invention. That's where you're wrong. Although my rocket car had accidentally captured Kit Tannen, it was also a widely impractical and dangerous idea that would have triggered unimaginable consequences had I pursued it further. Luckily, Edna came along and channeled my newfound fame into more practical pursuits. Uh, no. Could that be? I think it is. What? It's me, and you, the other you. It is me, and you, but how, Michael, it's impossible. No, it's science, your science, Doc. In this other world, the one you say you come from, am I, am I happy there? Very happy, you've got two great sons. Sons? Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna? Not even remotely. 
And your invention, jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to, anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe- My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they were afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Edna have got them all terrorized. That's Mrs. Round to you, Sonny. Doc. Kindly address me as your honor. We worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right, then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Fine, but I'll be back with proof. <laughs> Edna's not happy that her life is going to be taken away. Okay, so we need to get proof. I don't know how to do that. Um, let's see. Proof that he's terrorized the citizens. Okay. Doc wants proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One smoking gun coming up. Oh, all the dad's recording. Pop out the tape, son. I think it's done rewinding. Oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Guess I blacked out for a minute there, fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidences of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually... Ah. Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. The baseball bat, you think, maybe? Dad, that's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh, wait, don't touch it. It's evidence. Of what? Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sector L citizen like me? What's the last thing you remember? <sighs> I was sitting right here. Copying another incriminating scene onto my... my tapes. My tapes? What happened to my tapes? Stay calm, Dad. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage. There, okay, yeah. Here it is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers went all the time. It was just... Empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who... who could have done this to me? Who wouldn't want Doc to get the straight dope on Hill Valley? Edna! Are you saying I was mugged by the mayor's elderly wife? Um, not exactly, no. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad. We can't just give up.
I mean, maybe there's some more clues around here. What's the use? Even if we find out who took the tapes, we're not going to be able to get them back without attracting attention to ourselves. There's got to be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months. Six months? But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Uh, what I mean is... Hmm. All right, we're gonna leave it here, guys. Um, we're going to go on a little hunt here and try to figure out what we need to do to find those tapes. So we're going to leave that here. We're going to see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hit that like, guys, and leave a, uh, a note saying that you liked it and if you're subscribed and that stuff, and I will message you back. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.